What's up you guys, Pitbull Torres. We're here at Suburban Cadillac in Costa Mesa. I just bought my brand new car. Well, brand new for me, it's a 2017 CTS-V. They stopped making these in 2019. There's no more for sale for 2019 or 2018. This is the only one I found. These cars are super rare. In 2017, they only made 1,500 of them. So this car was super hard to find. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had an accident. I used to own a 2010 Honda Civic. That was my daily driver. I had that car for four years. I fell asleep behind the wheel. Thank God I didn't hit anyone or injure anybody or injure myself seriously bad. I totaled that car, so I got some money, and I was just like, you know what? It's time to get, time to upgrade, get something nice. And like I said, I've been looking at the CTSV for a long time, so I pulled the trigger. I got the, my dream car of my life. Let me show you guys, man. Check it out. The inside is mint, black on black, black suede, black leather. It's got the LT4 engine. Let me, I gotta pop the hood for these guys. It's the LT4 6.2 liter supercharged it's the exact same motor that's in the z06 corvette just in the caddy look at that bad boy barely fits in there 640 horsepower 630 uh torque stock with just uh exhaust and two uh, exhaust intake man i'm easy gonna be at 700 even got a carbon fiber hood look at that's all carbon fiber underneath but yeah so a lot of people think this is just a normal uh, ctsv but like i said this is the I'm our normal CTS. This is a B series, so it's full. It's ready to race. This is the first uh, car from Cadillac that hit 200 miles an hour off the production line. So I don't know if I'm at 200, but man, it's cool to know I could do 200 miles an hour. Obviously, four doors. My Honda was a two-door coupe, so I used to go pick up boxes from LiftFit and my little Honda, just shove it in as much as I could. So now I got some extra room. Got some trunk space right there fit some boxes but I actually go pick up some stuff right now but yeah let me see what else I'm missing we got four piston brakes Brembo's in the rear six piston up in the front magnet magnetic ride suspension so it's super smooth and it, it's got so we'll, we'll go inside and show you guys more what it's got but man I'm just I can't I, I'm blessed man I got no words to explain I finally got the car of my dreams all right guys, my first drive, leaving the dealership, the CTSV. I got a test drive it when I was there. They said they normally don't let people test drive these cars, but they let me. Um, man, I don't even know how to describe this car. It's like a race car, but a street car. The steering is like, seriously, like a race car. They, they, they took the pretty much the Z06 Corvette and took the suspension, the steering shaft, Obviously the motor, the brakes, everything's pretty much from a Z06 Corvette into a Cadillac. And man, I haven't got to really open it up, but there's so many cool features on this car. Like, check this out. They, they told me on the freeway, if I'm, if I'm cruising, it'll, it'll switch to, a, 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 right now it's on V8, but if I'm just cruising, like let's say if I'm going slower, this thing will go to V4. And pretty much I'll be on four cylinders, saving lots of gas. So. It's a gas guzzler, obviously it's a 6.2 liter, supercharged, but on the freeway, they say anywhere from 21 miles to the gallon to 26 if you're on the four cylinder mode. So, it's always, it's a gas guzzler, if I'm, I mean, not a gas guzzler if I'm on the freeway, but man, I didn't buy this car to save gas, I bought this car to have fun. I was looking at um, a GT500 first, brand new 2020 760 horsepower they actually let me test drive that car it was a bad decision because i almost bought that car because it's 760 horsepower when you feel that you just want to buy it so we got to test drive that car i was about to buy it it's like hundred and four thousand dollars they wanted but it wasn't even about the money it was just more about i need a car that has more room i used to have a honda civic two-door coupe and i didn't have enough space so this has four doors it's got a big cadillac trunk and it obviously still moves, man. I gotta be going. I gotta go fast, man. I'm like a, I'm like Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights, man. I wanna go fast, and if you ain't first, you're last. So, man, this thing you guys can't see, but also has that digital gauge, like in the mirror. You can't see it unless you're behind the seat. But, man, tons of features on this car. I can't wait to turn trash control off and have some fun. Holy that was wow. 
insane, bro. Easy, let's lit them up. On the way back to the HQ, just wanted to show you guys the inside. Look, we got Apple CarPlay. This uh, dash right here, man, does so much. It's like the whole car runs off this stuff pretty much. Um, different users, even if you're an Android user, if you're an iPhone user, what else has it got? Obviously AC, navigation. When I go to my settings, I did this for my car, like when I um, when they were showing me the car. See, it has, it has so much stuff like driving mode. Oh, that was not the right one. Let's see, driving mode engine sound management it's on track because i like it loud but if i go to a tour it will there's a baffle in the exhaust so it could on the fly say a cop's behind me i just press that button the car just gets a whole lot quieter so that's something super cool old cars can't do that look at even the steering wheel it has tour sport sport and track and if you leave it in track on this right here always be track so it's nice and stiff Suspension, obviously on the track mode. It's a race car, baby. But yeah, man, there's so many things. Collision detecting systems. There's even a, a teen driver. If I, so, so if I let a kid get in here, you don't have all the power. There's even a valet mode too. So, you know, you don't trust your valet drivers to be punching or joyride your car. You could also do that too. Um, personal stuff, obviously apps, all that stuff. But yeah, man, this car is a beast. Like I want to show you guys too right here, Nick. Show them how I just press select. So the options. So right now I'll show you like the distance I'm getting on my fuel when I fill up the average MPG. Let's see what else it got. The transmission fluid, tire temperature is warm. You want it to be hot to get that good traction. G-force, it measures the G-force. This is a boost gauge because you got a supercharger. Oil pressure, oil temperature, battery voltage. This even shows you how many seconds uh, you are away from the car in front of you. The speed limit of the road you're driving on, the tire pressure, oil life, and the fuel range of how much fuel you have in the tank, even a compass. So man, this thing has everything. There's so many features. I could even change the way this looks, like the, the format on it. And then you just go to options, press select, display layout. Uh, it has to be in park to, to do the display layout, but pretty much I could change this is all digital So it changes. This is the V performance the way it looks on the performance mode. I like the way it looks So I just leave it on there Let's leave it on something fun. I like to I like to see the boost gauge So we're gonna leave it on the boost gauge Also, let me show you just on the fly like I said this thing could be a normal car you go to the modes right here press down Show them Nick We're already on that track mode but if I wanted to go to tour, I just go up, and that's just more like calm driving, smoother shifts, the suspension change. You see how the dash just went to black? It's not white anymore. The white is like the V performance racing. So, you know, like me, I like to go fast. So I leave it on that track mode. Watch, you'll see the, the dash change to white. That's when you know you're in track mode right there. All right, let's see what this thing has got. Ooh, get a little sideways at 50. like 110 easy like nothing and the brakes on this thing are amazing i love how i could just downshift too to slow the car down there you go hey you gotta get, get another shot right here with the the boost watch the boot this gauge right here it goes up to like 10 almost 15 pounds of boost Ooh, 10 pounds of boost baby we move it Zero to 60 is 3.7 seconds in this car. And like I said earlier, the, two, the top speed, 200 miles an hour. This is the first car from Cadillac to ever hit 200 miles an hour from the production line. Man, this thing handles so good. I'm gonna take it on a, a canyon run this weekend. We'll get some YouTube content of that. I'm about to head to Malibu with some friends. So that's gonna be awesome. Oh man, we would be filming on the traffic hour. Ready? Nick, 
Dude, the thing hauls <laughs> dude, holy <laughs> Smooth though, right? Hella smooth, dude. My Mustang, well, I'd be hearing the wind coming in. The There's car, so much torque in the it, dude. Vibrant. There's so much torque, dude. 630 torque. Stock. This thing is bone stock. Doesn't even have an air intake or exhaust. Nothing. You already know I'm gonna. Everyone's asking me if I'm gonna do mods to it. Come on, I gotta put at least an exhaust and an intake. Maybe even E85 because um, it has a supercharger. Anything when you have a supercharger, the car runs hot. So if you put better fuel in a car that has a supercharger, you get big horsepower gain. So you might have to do an E85 tune. And that's just the best thing, the technology on these motors, it's so easy. Like I can have someone send me a tune. I could put it in my car with like, I just gotta buy this little tuner and it does it so easy. So. These cars are just so much more easier to work on. My Mustang is very old school. The computer's old. It's a lot of wrench churning. I don't don't get me wrong. I like the simplicity of it, but man, this is just com something completely different. And look at we got AC. I got AC on the seats, heated seats, cooled seats, so my balls don't get sweaty. Man, I love this car. It's so much fun. All right, guys, just pulled up to the HQ. Showed the homies the whip. Now I gotta go take them for a ride. Let's roll. My first donut, damn. Hey, I, I bought the V for the squad, pretty Great, much. Bro. I was about to get the GT500. We all couldn't fit in there, so I was like, you know what? We got the V four door, the whole squad could fit. Yes, and you see us rolling up to the Expos, the YouTube videos, and the V, baby. Start it up. Hey, but thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace.